Thanks for joining me today, guys. I'm going to tie something called the Monster Bugger. I'm tying it on a Gamagatsu dry fly hook. Seems kind of interesting. I'm using dry fly hook here, but uh, what I'm looking for is a long shank um, and something with a big enough eyelet that will hold a, uh, um, a cone head here. So uh, this will actually add weight. Um, these dry fly hooks are very fine wire. Usually, uh, uh, like woolly buggers, we'll use something a little little thicker wire, but I like these fine wires just because um, you'll get a little better better penetration with a fish, so it doesn't require as, as much of a hook set, um, just makes it a little easier. So we're going to go ahead and add on our um, cone head, okay? And we're going to start by wrapping on our, our thread, okay? And I'm going to wrap all the way back to the about the bend of the hook here. I'm going to take a piece of marabou, and I'm tying in some olive-colored marabou. Um, I like. I'm going to be doing a brown body and an olive olive tail. Um, I personally like that. Um, it makes it, you know, the, the contrast in my opinion is really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and tie that in. All right. Clip off our excess. Make sure that's in really good. Okay. Now uh, you can tie this a little shorter if you want. I like it a little longer. Um, gives a little more movement. However, when it's longer, there is a possibility of it fouling up on the hook, so just keep that in mind. Um, next, I'm going to tie in some crystal flash. I like a lot of crystal flash. I'm going to take, actually, three pieces. And this is the copper color for crystal flash. Basically, this is... Uh, just a whole bunch of colors mixed in together on this bugger, but it's, uh, you know, I, I kind of like that look. I'm going to tie it in on, on the side of Marabou, and then twist it over and tie it in on the other side. Now we've got it on both sides of the Marabou. Okay. Next, we're going to tie in a piece of, this is brown chenille. Now, this is a Thicker chenille. This is not the thin chenille. Make sure you use bugger chenille. Um, there's all different types of chenilles out there. You just want something that has a little more uh, you know, thickness to it. Now we don't want to wind all the way up uh, to the, the eye of the hook here like we normally would. Um, we want to then add something called crazy legs. These crazy legs are what makes this a monster bugger and not a woolly bugger. Um, we're kind of basically replacing this with um, with uh, or replacing the, the hackle with crazy legs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tie this in right on top of the hook shank. Okay. I'm going to try to tie it in where it's angled backwards a bit at first, and then we can kind of angle it frontward. Okay, a few extra wraps. Make sure those are positioned a little better. Okay. Then wrap up a bit and then tie in our next piece so we're doing two sets basically of the legs okay and then we wrap all the way up to our cone head and next we start wrapping in our chenille now it's a little, little trickier than with the regular woolly bugger because you've got these legs now that are in the way so you want to just start wrapping up up until you reach the first set of legs. All right. And when you get to the, the legs, you want to cross either over or under them. 
um, like I just had done. And then when you get to the head, you just basically tie it off. Okay. And we want to do quite a few wraps, really cinch that on there, make sure it's, it's not going to move. Um, and then we can go ahead and whip finish. Now, I'm going to actually whip finish this twice to really ensure that that stays on. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little drop of super glue. Now, I'm going to do this with the head angled down, so it kind of almost wouldn't say fills up, but runs downward, not back into the chenille. Okay. And there we go. That is the monster bugger. Um, actually, if you would like, you can either leave those those uh, legs long, or you can cut them off. I prefer to cut them off a little bit. You don't necessarily need them as long as they are. So um, plus, I like them all about even. So let's go ahead and cut them. What that does is it flares them out a bit more. Okay. There we go. That's the monster bugger. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe.